Hey guys, Ryan here and in this video I'm going to cover a fantastic little utility that allows you to see what files are currently locked in use by processes on your Windows 10 or 11 system. So one of the more annoying aspects of Windows or indeed software installation is that sometimes you might be wanting to update some software and you get a message such as the action cannot be completed because the files are already open or in use. Now in most cases of course if you reboot your system that will resolve the problem. But there will be some scenarios where you don't have the option to reboot. A perfect example of that is if you've got a server environment. Or another example is if you've got an uninstaller that's maybe failed and it's not completely removing all the files. Either way, what happens is you end up with a system with a bunch of files and folders that you cannot delete manually. Now, technically what you could do is open up Task Manager and then look at all the running processes and then end them one by one to find the responsible process. Now, the problem with that is that, of course, if you've got several applications and processes running already, then there's every chance that you'll end up killing the wrong process. So enter File Locksmith Utility, a Windows shell extension that allows you to check what files are currently locked, in use, and by what process. So the first step is installation. Now, File Locksmith is included as part of the Microsoft Power Toys. Now, this is a set of utilities for power users that allows them to fine tune their installation of Windows. Now, one thing to bear in mind that if you are going to be using Power Toys, there are some additional dependencies that you will need to install. However, the installation package will install these if they're not already installed on your system. So to install Microsoft Power Toys, you want to navigate down here to the section where it says via GitHub with EXE recommended. And in probably about 97% of cases, since most people run X64 processors, you want to click on this option here, which is Power Toys Setup x64 exe so once this installation package is downloaded you want to run it as normal and then follow the installation instructions of course once this process is finished you'll find that power toys and file locksmith will now be available for use so step two is to actually use file locksmith so to demonstrate this application use i'm going to use mozilla firefox uh, which is a alternative browser and so for example i've just run the uninstaller for firefox but for some reason it's failed so what I want to do is now remove the firefox.exe, which is found in the application directory. But for some reason, this particular file has running processes associated with it. So to do that, I need to first navigate to where Firefox is installed. For me, it's going to be my PC, the C drive, program files, Mozilla Firefox. And in here, you can see it's the firefox.exe. So for example, I wanted to just simply delete that. I would press delete. And I get a prompt here that the action cannot be completed because the files already open in Firefox. So if I want to check what process is actively used in that application, I can right click on Firefox, go to what's using this file. This will generate a list of all the processes associated with that particular application. Now you can also click on the down button here, which will give you the exact process ID, the user, as well as where the file itself is located. Now, one thing I recommend you do before you go any further is click on this button here at the top where it says restart as administrator. And all this really does is just confirms a prompt later on if you're deleting files from a system directory. And for it, once you've made a decision, click the big end task button. And now if we go back to the original file, we can click delete. And voila, it's no longer locked behind a process. Now, obviously this particular example was incredibly straightforward as the process we wanted to kill was funny enough called Firefox, but if you did have some more obscure software installed, then the process might not be as simple. Now, a common one that I often run into at work is if I'm troubleshooting Microsoft Outlook, as many of the associate processes with Microsoft Office have some very obscure names. But uh, either way, with that you've now installed File Locksmith, and you also now know how to kill locked files associated with processes. So in conclusion, File Locksmith is a great utility for troubleshooting wayward processes especially if you're in a server environment, but even just for desktop, this is yet another Windows tool that you can include in your toolbox. Thanks for watching guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.